um, chairs, members. Um, my name is Sam Paredes. Unfortunately, the comments that we have are going to be greatly reduced because of the time frame that we have. And you will hear much of our testimony in, in committee um, as we go through this process. But what I would like to do is just take a few minutes to respond to um, several of the inaccuracies that you have been presented here today. I think it's important that if you really want to address this issue, you need to be dealing from a factual position, and I'd like to point some of these things out. First of all, it's illegal for any uh, buddy to go and buy a handgun, a firearm of any kind in, in another state. If you cannot go to a dealer in Arizona, that, as has been testified in both of your committees, buy a, a, a AK-47 and come back to California. Federal law requires every licensed dealer to comply with the laws of the purchaser state or else they are committing a felony. Nobody's being arrested for that. Dealers are not violating that law. So that's not, not the case. In New York, Governor Cuomo passed the, uh, um, his assault weapons package with uh, a limiting high capacity magazines to seven rounds. Unfortunately, that law also limited uh, police officers in the entire state. They are also limited under his present law. The preemption law here in the state of California. I am proud to say that our founder and chairman, Senator H.L. Richardson, was the, the sponsor of that uh, uh, issue. It was not an initiative. It was passed by this legislature in order to prevent the patchwork quilt of laws being uh, 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 rising up throughout the state of California where law-abiding citizens would, by merely driving down the highway, be in violation of one county or city's laws. That's why the preemption law was, was passed. Uh, Proposition 15. Proposition 15 was an uh, initiative to ban handguns in the state of California. It lost two to one in the state, had massive law enforcement support. Um, with regards to um, National Rifle Association, Gun Owners of America, Gun Owners of California, our uh, work to recruit members, to train youth in the use of firearms, recreational purposes, and, and all of the activities. Boy Scouts have been doing it since the beginning. We have offered, through our organizations, various safety programs that have been rejected by, by the state and by educational uh, administrators, and, and this would be a, 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 a very valuable thing. That's for free. Databases. As of January 1st of this year, I'm glad that DOJ pointed out that we do have a database on all firearms purchasers, long guns, handguns, shotguns, whatever. Um, actions that have material effect on this thing. This is not an, an, uh, uh, some place where there was an inaccuracy. We very strongly believe that if you continue to work on issues that affect guns, ammunition, and law-abiding gun owners, you will continue to have the atrocities that we have seen because none of these laws will impact those people who one day are normal and the next day are insane, are evil. They will not affect the acts of criminals. The purse strings. You folks with the budgets have done more to, to not give the Department of Justice the resources and our court systems to have the personnel, the hardware, and the software to be able to process all of these mental health records. California reports more mental health uh, uh, adjudicated people than any other state. But because they don't have the resources as far as getting them up on a timely basis to a database that's usable to our law enforcement, that doesn't exist. Fixed magazines. The issue of fixed magazines will ban all semi-automatic long guns and handguns. That might be what you intend to do. But be aware that if you require a law that, that requires fixed magazines, you are banning all of those guns. Um, Mexican crime guns, uh, Senator De Leon. Uh, there was a subsequent study conducted that, that pointed out that, whoops, we were wrong. It isn't 85%. As a matter of fact, we can't tell you how many they are because the Mexican uh, law enforcement agencies do not trust the American law enforcement agencies, and they are not conveying the information as to where those guns are, are emanating from. And be the fact that Mexican authorities, five different agencies, report the same guns to one reporting agency, and then they report that as the number. Uh, we have strong issue with that. Um, I mentioned uh, DOJ reporting to the courts. Guns are not only meant for killing. Understand, AR-15 platforms, AK-47 platforms, are the single most popular gun in America that citizens are purchasing for all uses, for personal defense, for hunting, for recreational purpose, for target shooting. They are telling you 
why they need those guns and that they want those guns. Here in California, 1.3 million guns were sold in the state of California legally last year. Add that to the over 40 million that already exist in the state of California. Those are realities. 400 million guns owned in America. The Department of uh, uh, Homeland Security just purchased 7,000 AR-15 select fire firearms as personal defense weapons, justifying them as saying that they are the easiest to use in close quarters defense. So if it's good enough for Homeland Security, why shouldn't it be good enough for a law-abiding citizens? Um, guns in the home, I'm going to tell you this. I am one of those statistics where it wasn't, uh, I wasn't two to one more, more uh, able to, to be hurt by my own guns. I successfully used a firearm when I had an intruder in my own home. And I don't wish that on anybody. So when I'm talking to you, I'm talking to you from firsthand experience. Um, my, my last comment, um, with regards to affecting guns in the home, the Supreme Court of the United States in Heller versus uh, DC and in McDonald versus Chicago made it plainly illegal, unconstitutional for you to do that. You cannot control whether people have guns in their home. You cannot control how they keep them, locked or dis disassembled. The court said that is unconstitutional, and McDonald said that that is incorporated by the states. Um, and, 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 and finally, as I pointed out before, as long as we concentrate on gun control, and not talk about the issues that would um, that, gen that, that, that guide criminals and generate monsters, we will continue to have these issues. And you will continue to have hearings like this. And you will continue to work on uh, affecting law-abiding citizens. And you will continue to miss the fact that it has no impact on criminals and, and the insane. Thank you. Um, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, Mr. Paradis. Yes. We have been trying to get, as I said, a shared information base. If you would not mind submitting um, your testimony to us with the different bullet points, because it was hard to even take them down or remember them. And I am interested in following up. I know that the study that I have about the gun, guns used in trafficking across the line in Mexico comes from the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms, and it's dated April 26th um, of this year. But if you have a study that's more recent, we would like to know about it, and we can follow up on some of the other points as well. So you will submit those to us? Yes, yes, I will. Thank and, you so and much. Unfortunately, I didn't have them in writing because it was in response to everything that was discussed here. Um, and and yeah. be assured that when we testify uh, with regards to many of these bills, we will be here with key leaders of law enforcement and victims who um, do not want to see any of these laws passed. Thank you.